People are holding protests inside Welcome to Bloxburg on Roblox. Yes, you heard me correctly. Over the last few days, protests have been happening in the game across all different servers and it was heavily boosted by Creekcraft. The first time I saw anything about this, I thought it had something to do with real issues and I didn't really know if I liked the idea of them being minimized so much to a point that they are being paraded around random Roblox games, but it turns out that Roblox Bloxburg players are holding massive protests in the game over in game job prices. So yes, you double heard me correctly. People on Roblox are holding protests inside Welcome to Bloxburg because they want to be paid more Bloxburg money for doing their Bloxburg jobs. This was already somehow such a big event occurring before Creekcraft even saw it. The only reason I say he heavily boosted it is because he said 1000 likes and we will hold the largest in-game Roblox protest in history. It might just be the largest Roblox protest ever because it's really the only protest we have ever seen for something like this, but I think that's completely besides the point. Let's look at this. This one video I found on TikTok, I believe this is the mother of someone who has been participating in the Bloxburg protests and she actually explains everything surprisingly well. I mean, she even knew things about this that I didn't know. I had no idea about most of the things she mentioned. According to this TikTok video, right now Bloxburg just changed the way that you get paid for your jobs inside of the game. The pizza delivery job was the example she used and the pay for delivering pizza used to be a certain amount and now it's been cut in half or something like that. And on top of all of that, they also just added a feature where your character literally faints if you do not continue to meet the needs and requirements of your character. The last time I played and pretty much since the beginning beginning of the game, if your needs all went down to zero, pretty much the only thing that would happen is you were smelly and sad and tired and walked a lot slower than the usual walk speed. Some things and certain actions you weren't able to do because your mood was too low, but you could still kind of play the game and keep doing what you were doing. You never fainted because fainting was never a thing until right now. It's even crazier that building off of the new fainting feature, I'm still going through some TikTok videos and some of these people are even offering little shelter rooms with a bunch of beds and an open area with a bunch of free food that anyone can take to prevent people participating in these protests from fainting because, you know, if they are busy protesting, then they are likely not going to have time to go buying, making and eating food or sleeping or doing literally anything required to keep your character from fainting. Seeing this part of the whole thing almost makes it seem like real life protests because people fainting at those probably isn't uncommon to see. So all of it ends up feeling slightly weird and almost surreal in that regard, but I do think that ultimately it's all just harmless fun in the end. These people are even making stages with the microphones and areas for the audience and protesters to watch and listen to the people up on the stage so that they can voice their concerns to developers and discuss exactly what it is they are protesting. One person even made little parking spaces for vehicles so that quote, Bloxburg doesn't tow our vehicles, which I don't think is something that really happens and that's more something that they are role playing to make the whole thing seem a little more realistic, which again, this is all just harmless fun. I do just find it slightly amusing that they are protesting the game being too realistic by not paying people enough and having them pass out if they don't eat or sleep enough, but then they make fake parking spaces to role play the realistic aspect of protest vehicles being towed away. But the next thing we saw from Creekcraft was a tweet simply captioned tomorrow with an eagle emoji and the American flag emoji. And the video attached is his Roblox avatar at some kind of a panel thing with some microphones. And the American flag is waving over the top of the entire video, a bunch of signs around his house and all over the place saying things like bring back Bloxburg. And this genuinely might be one one of the most American things that I have ever seen in my entire life. 
My favourite thing about this tweet though is probably be slick in the replies saying we really need another piggy game to come out fast otherwise this happens. Because you know what, take too long to release an update for a popular game that popular YouTubers like to play and they start hosting protests for Roblox players to get more fake money at their fake job in their fake life in Welcome to Bloxburg. And then we got this, it's basically the same image except this time it's in real life. Creekcraft sitting at the panel this time with the same microphones and flags and fire in the background for some reason and he said I would like to officially announce I am running for mayor of Bloxburg. Together we can turn this city around. We will start by giving everyone free health care and free block books. So I think block books is the, the currency in Bloxburg and that's currently what people are protesting to get more of because apparently it was cut in half or even in some cases it might be a little bit worse than that. Also apparently the the free healthcare thing he's talking about is the fact that in this game you no longer get healthcare for free. I don't know if that's a thing. Thinking about it now, it's quite possible that if your character faints, you have to pay to get the character back or something like that because I can't imagine they would add a fainting feature and then just have you respawn like nothing ever happened. If you faint, there must be some kind of a consequence to that and that might be what that is about. But during his entire stream, he was wearing an American flag around him in real life, his entire Roblox avatar was basically the American flag in at least four different ways and had probably hundreds of people following him around the game the whole time. One of those people, for some reason, appears to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Running alongside all the people marching the streets of Welcome to Bloxburg with their protest flags equipped and you know, it's so good for him because I'm sure the people of Bloxburg will be very, very appreciative of Sonic for doing that. The first time I saw this screenshot, I thought there was just randomly a bunch of birds circling around the people protesting below and didn't even question it until eventually I realised those are actually other players using gliders to follow Creekcraft and everyone else. So not only did he have a bunch of players running around the entire map to follow him with their signs and flags to protest the current Bloxburg conditions, but he literally had air support too. So many people gliding around in the air above him the whole time to show their support, both on the ground and in the sky. I think everything about this gets more and more insane the more you look into this and the more you find out about this, which is surprisingly difficult to do considering we are talking about Roblox players holding multiple different protests at different times on all these different days to stand together and rise up against the fact that they are receiving less Bloxburg money for their Bloxburg jobs and their Roblox characters keep fainting, I guess. And eventually it ended up trending on Twitter with Bloxburg Rebellion virtual protest erupts over update. Thousands of Bloxburg players take to the virtual streets to voice their discontent over a controversial update that has left something. That's where it cuts off and I didn't get to see it for myself. But that was literally this morning at 3am. 3am people were protesting in Bloxburg because they get less fake money than they used to. I don't know guys, it's probably safe to say that there is never a dull moment within the Roblox community and this just proves it. So please, the comments is the place to go tell me what you guys think about people protesting inside of Welcome to Bloxburg. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.